Welcome back to another exciting Inkscape tutorial. Today, we will be discussing techniques on path. All right, today, so I have uh, created here for you four different types of path, which is union, difference. Now, different has two outcomes for difference, depending on where you put the shapes, and path intersect which is the common area and lastly the path exclusion okay you can also find this path right up here on the menu bar okay union difference intersect and exclusion okay so let's begin we're gonna do up the difference now before we go on with our tutorial um, you should also be aware of some important keys for example, zoom in and zoom out, which is the control scroll. Press down the control button and scroll your mouse. Okay, there are also two important hotkeys here. Page up and page down. Page up essentially rises up the one layer up and page down brings the shape to go one layer down. Okay, I'll demonstrate that much later. Okay, so path difference. Firstly, I'm going to create a perfect rectangle or square. Sorry, perfect square. Now, to create a perfect square, you have to press down the sh control button, right? Okay, this is... If you do not press the control button, your shape will go anyway. Okay, so I'm going to delete that one. Okay, I'm just going to delete all again. So I'm going to press control button down and control, right? Should you encounter squares that's rounded, okay, probably, you know, the last person who used the computer had left it at a rounded edge square. So what you can do is actually to go to the shape tool and reshape it back to a perfect square. And there you go, the perfect square, right? So the shape tool to control the rounded corners. So we're going to work with a perfect square. So I have a perfect square here. So to resize also, I have to press down the control button. Okay, so I'm going to draw a perfect circle, also control, right? So I have two shapes here. I'm going to fill them up with a uh, yellow. Okay, now you, I'm going to zoom in, right? Now I just press uh, control and zoom in, scroll. You can see the stroke size is uh, relatively different. Now to make it to very consistent size. I can select both of them. I can go to the bottom left here. There's a stroke. Double click. Okay, uh, the panel has opened up right over here. I'm gonna the stroke style. I'm gonna set it to PX. Okay, 20 points. Okay, I like to work with 20 points. You can also set to 10 points or 15. But normally I'll set my work to 20 points. My stroke. Okay. Similarly, if I need to resize this, I'm going to press Ctrl again. Okay. Maybe bigger. So let me reset that to 20 points. Okay. Okay. Once that is done, I am going to duplicate this. I just press Ctrl D to duplicate the two objects. Okay, I'm going to keep this for my original piece of work. Okay. Now, as you can see, um, this first combination is we have the circle on top. For this one, I want to put the circle below so I can press page down. And I can press page up to bring it up again. Alternatively, you can go to layer. Okay. Let's see, yeah, object, mm, yeah, here, not layer, sorry, object, lower down by one. Okay, let's get on to the path difference. Okay, so path difference, I'm going to go to object, let's go to path and difference. The hotkey is control minus, so difference, so it's control minus, they have it, a cut, and here we have a uh, 
not a difference this time around the square is on top so what happens is that it's going to cut the other way difference okay so there you have it i'm going to bring all my shapes final work into the paper area so this will be the exported area right okay now we've come to the end of this tutorial so do try out this skill and this technique for your to further improve your Inkscape skills. Alright, see you on our next tutorial video. All the best.